All right, apparently Javante Tank Davis, um, you know, uh, baby mama, baby moms, um, has come out and said that she lied basically and um, that he didn't do what he was accused of doing. But once you get that reputation, it don't even matter. You know, you can be in, uh, you know, Wasabi. And the chick be like, oh, I'm in D.C. and Tank did this to me yesterday. You know, he'd be all on Wasabi. So once you get that reputation, it's hard to shake. It's once you get a reputation for anything as a man, especially a black man, it's uh, it's hard to shake. It's hard to shake, young man. So, you know, it, you know, they say it take a life. You could take a lifetime to build a, a great reputation. You know what I'm saying? You could take a whole lifetime to build a great reputation, young man. And all it takes is uh, one bad moment, and it's changing everybody. It changed everybody's perception. But then again, guess what? That's why you don't worry about perception, bro. You know what I'm saying? Long as it ain't affecting business, long as it ain't affecting your money line, um, that's why you don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? You know, once you start worrying about what everybody think, like it's high school and shit like that, I think, you know, you'd be better off. You got to move how you going to move. Don't forget that. You know, you got to be proud of you. The only people you worry about is your family that you really mess with. Kids looking up to you, you know, not disrespecting them. I say other than that, man, I don't really care what nobody else thinks because one thing that I find out in life is everybody going through something. It's the very same people that's judging you on the internet, the very same people in your family that's judging you, you make the mistake. A lot of people didn't do shit worse or equally or equally bad as what you've done. And they judging you, but they just ain't got caught or just ain't go through the family or, you know, make the shade room or no shit like that. So at the end of the day, you just got to say, you know what, man, I, I don't want to be in this position again. Make that promise with yourself. And um, hey, you make that promise with yourself so you don't put yourself in that position again. And you got to learn from it. Sometimes it takes a couple people, you know, a few times. It's been a few times where I just say, damn, you know, this shit really ain't working, bro. Let me uh, switch it up. You know, it didn't work again. Let me switch it up. I failed the test again. You know, sometimes you got to go seek more advice, more counsel. That's the way it is. But don't think because you're tripping over the same, you know, barrier or the same, you know, shit every time. You know what I'm saying? That um, something wrong with you. It ain't. It ain't. You know, you know, if you think Einstein and, and George Washington Carver and all them was able to, you know, get to where they got just trying one time every time. No, sometimes you got to sit there and think. Sometimes you got to get a brain freeze. Sometimes you got to sleep on it, wake up, sleep on it, wake up, sleep on it, wake up, sleep on it. Shit is life. But um, nonetheless, let's slide over here. So a woman says that Javante Davis did not assault her. Call to, to police was unne unnecessary. It's probably exactly what he said it was. He said that she wanted to see the truck. He didn't want to let her get the truck. And that's what they got into it. So, you know. And, and I heard her voice and I'm like, damn, she ain't black. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I heard her voice. I said, oh, it don't sound like she black. So. You know how it is, man. They be quick to call the police on you. The other, that's why sometimes when you talk about interracial dating, and then she deactivated her Instagram too. So, you know, she was getting backlash. But yeah, it was when you date the other, man. You know, you talking about cultural differences and stuff. Soon as something don't go right with a black man. Like I said, during the pandemic, a lot of these people was divorcing their mates because their mates was racist. And they didn't even know. I mean, you marrying somebody and you don't even know their political views. You know, to me, which is wild. You know what I'm saying? To me, is crazy. That's crazy to me. You marry somebody and you don't know their political views. You know, or you don't know their races. And now, this let you. Let's let me know that a lot. That a lot of people be had. You know, they. They. You know, you be with somebody. We all went to college, all met each other. You know, people say, well, you know, you should know. You don't take five or six years to you know if you want to marry somebody. Well, y'all out here dating people and marrying fucking racists. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all out here dating people 
who don't even like your kind? You don't even know she a sack chaser. As soon as that money slowed down or, you know what I'm saying, you don't even know you she using you. Nigga, you marry her. She using you. As soon as you get sick or as soon as you go to jail or something to do a little time or whatever, you had to sit down in the hospital. She running off with all your money going through your expenses. You know, and now look at you. So that's the crazy thing about it, bro. A lot of people looking at your beauty and beauty then beauty then took down a lot of niggas. And when you get older, you start seeing who there for you, who did do this, that for you. If you go to jail, who do that for you? That's you know, you know, a lot of people don't want to compromise in the looks department. And then when you go, you gotta go sit down with an injury or whatever, and you crying. Shibity wubbity shibity. Yo. <laughs> he said the woman. Who called the police? I like how they don't say her name, but the woman who called her police called the police to report Boston Javante Davis in uh in a domestic incident earlier this week. Uh said Friday that Davis did not harm her or her daughter. So apparently he harmed the daughter. I heard him say that I just didn't speak on it. Davis 28 was arrested Tuesday afternoon in Florida after allegedly struck a woman on the right side of her head with a closed hand type of stuff, according to Broward County Police uh Sheriff's Office incident report. Davis, who was denied the allegation, later referred to a woman as the mother's child. These past few days have been exhaustful, exhaustful, exhaustful. These past few days have been hurtful and extremely exhausting for all parties involved. The woman wrote in her statement, I pride myself on being extremely private. This situation was the last thing I wanted to be made public. The state of our relationship has been in fragile space and Javante and I are both at fault for the argument. While the emotions were running high, I made an unnecessary call to law enforcement in a tense moment. While I was frantic, uh, Javante did not harm me or our daughter today. We have sought the, uh, sought the help necessary to move forward with our lives. I'm confident that we will succeed within our core parenting dynamic with the council of providing us. And this, is what, and this is what they do to you, bro. They see a young dude with some money, young black guy with some money, and they're going to take advantage of you. And everything that everything that shine ain't gold, everything that go bling, bling ain't diamond. You know what I'm saying? Come on, you know, y'all feel what I'm saying? And y'all, a lot of y'all like tank when learning the hard way, and it's hard. You know, you out here and, um, you know, you're making the decisions and, you know, um, and you don't know what to look for in the traps. You think these people like you because you're a good looking young man or, man, they want you for the money, my nigga. If you was a nigga, you know, if you was thug, oh, they'd probably like you too if you was thug and take care of you and whatever. You got women that do that. But they white, they see six figures, they see the money, they see the purses that's allegedly being thrown out there and all that type of stuff. That's what they see. You don't see what I see. You know what I'm saying? The only experience is gonna teach you that. You know what I'm saying? Only experience is gonna teach you that. All these sack chasers, now she tied to you, no matter if she did to you, she did this to you, got mad because you wouldn't let her drive the truck or whatever, whatever situation may be. And then through a temper tantrum. She love your status. She love the money. She don't love you. Because then, you know, anybody that love you and that's in it for the long haul, they ain't talking about fucking co-parenting. You know, y'all, she should be one to, you know, talk about raising y'all kid in the, the same house. And that's what should, should be your goal, too, fool. Now you got two, two, um, now you got two, uh, Two different daughters and two different households. Niggas' goals be messed up. Just you know, with them, you just you know smash them and keep them moving, bro. Wrap it up. And if you don't want to wrap it up, don't smash. Don't don't trust the pullout. They cold now. They game is cold. Don't trust the pullout. They game is cold. Don't trust it. Trying to tell you. Trying to tell you, bro. Don't trust it. You you smash them and you keep it moving, and that's the that's the name of the game, bro. And people and women that's truly there and love you and stuff, they don't run and go call the police, bro. All this is gonna be a paper trail for child support. Mark my words. And then when the child support drop a little bit, she's going to be hitting your line for some money and she's going to be trying to send you the booty naked pictures and all that and come get this. And you're going to be stupid enough to do it. She's going to run game and run another incident on you again, build a paper trail. And that's the name of the game, bro. Start, you got your niggas got to start learning from their mistakes. 
Seriously. People got to start learning from their mistakes. You bro, you creating all these kids in a broken household. If you just want to have fun, did you put with girls like that? You have fun with them. That's it. You have fun with it. Come on. You just have fun with it. You just have fun with it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. You just have fun with it. And if a lot of these dudes don't know when a woman genuinely for you, bro, I mean, then you need to seriously seek counsel. You know what I'm saying? You need to seek, you know, help. Real talk. People think I'm being funny and shit. Seek help. Seek help. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. But, of course, you got a woman that's quick to run to the, uh, quick to run and call the police every time y'all get into it or do that, bro. Get, get out of there. Get, I ain't nothing, ain't nothing good can come from that. Ain't nothing good can come from that. Trust me. You know, I remember her homie in college. She was a chick. She was from, I think she was like from Denver, right? She was cool. She was, she was good looking, you know what I'm saying? He said, you know, we went to a party, but she lived in the same complex. We had the party and shit. So we think he going to be there in a minute, you know, handling his business and shit, right? He like, man. He like, bro, oh, man, we was in there about, I wouldn't even say 30 minutes, bro. And like he like man, let's 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 slide, bro. He's like man, he like uh he like let's slide. I'm like all right, shit. We thought we were gonna be in there a little longer, but you know you know niggas you know, curiosity kicking in. Like what happened? He's like she was crazy, bro. She was weird. She was doing crazy shit. I'm trying to leave. She's stopping me from leaving and stuff. You know, Roger can't never mess with her again. Common sense. <laughs> and we in our tw early twenties. You know what I'm saying? Shit, 19, <laughs> 18. You know what I'm saying? He had enough common sense to know not to mess with her no more. It wasn't right. You know, whatever whatever it was, you know, it wasn't right. And the science is there. Y'all want to ignore it just for a piece of ass, man. And you got millions. You could just, you know, ass is ass. Shit, niggas with eight dollars getting ass. That's all it is. Ass is ass. It's a crazy thing about it, dude. But if you, you know, you start talking about bringing kids into this world, okay, you start talking about bringing kids into this world, now you're talking about something that's sacred, bro. They, they, you don't want to have a whole bunch of kids. You want to be able to, especially daughters, you want to be able to be there every day, monitor, help growth, get a game, take them on dates, show them how they should be treated, show them how they should be loved, nurtured, cared for, all that. That's what you want to do. You want to be there on a day-by-day -day basis to see them grow. You know, at the, at the end of the day, man, it ain't about what you're doing. You know, you're going to have your time to do you. But at the end of the day, this is why people got to wait for the facts. But I'll tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. This don't necessarily mean that he ain't out the blue in this situation because they still can pursue to press charges. They still can pers get pursued to press charges. Even without her cooperation, or somebody come to her with some money and say, "We'll say he forced you to say this and change the narrative." He ain't out the blue. He ain't out the blue. They still will proceed with these charges, and it's not a good look on this other case. But y'all, you know, dating outside your culture. This is what you got to understand. Black women put up with black men shit more than anybody else. Real talk. Real talk. They put up with our shit. They put up with our shit. They really do. More than any other culture you're going to be with. They put up with it. So, appreciate y'all, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel and the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. But, um, 
Hit all notifications, increase the chance of notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, uh, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine link tree, the first link in the description. Uh, check out the Boston News playlist for more videos like this. Appreciate the love support. Peace.